like and subscribe. What is a candy you never have been able to get on board with? Those cheap hollow chocolate figurines of Santa, the Easter Bunny, ETC, that you get on holidays. They're usually made from the worst quality chocolate, so thin that it just crumbles into itself when you bite into it or break a piece off, and there isn't even that much chocolate since it's hollow. Wax lips. Those generic things from trick or treat bags of hysteria. I never knew what they were, because the orange or black wax paper wrappers were blank. They were hard chewy and dense, not in a good way. And most of the time, when you unwrap them, the candy had fused a part of the wrapper, so you were eating some wax paper as you chewed up this unsatisfying nugget of dental filling thievery. Each year you get down to the dregs of your bag and all that was left were these, and plain mini Hershey's, and when even the plain mini Hershey's were gone you still didn't want these. But you try one anyway, like it had gotten better, since last year but it hadn't. And one was all it took, and you threw out the rest of them, and wished you could remember which old person neighbor house gave these crap things out, so you could skip them next year. Garbage candy. I've read some horror stories about sugar-free gummy bears, so I naturally avoid them at all costs. Their demeanor is inviting, but beware. And label chocolates. You mean sugary wax with a hint of cocoa anus? Those dot candies on the parchment paper. I inadvertently end up eating mostly the parchment paper. Buying circus peanuts. What the hell is wrong with people? The candy hearts, that you get around Valentino's day. Sugar flavored chalk, I am out. That ribbon candy in grandma's dish with an inch of dust on it. That goo that came in a clear toothpaste tube. I have no idea, if they even make it anymore, but it was everywhere in the 90s. You have unlocked a distant memory, ha. Huh? Also reminds me of those purple and green colored ketchups. The 90s were an interesting time. Black licorice. I am from Japan. We eat bunch of out there stuff but this, I cannot get on board with. If they had presented it as some kind of medicine I might have been okay with it. Edit, never have I ever imagined black licorice to be the reason for my first awards. Thank you kind people on Reddit. My wife likes double salted black licorice. Tastes like chewing on a bike tire. Good and plenty. It is sold everywhere, yet I have never seen anyone buy it. Circus Peanuts. My dog, who will literally eat goose. <laughs> off the sidewalk, found a circus peanut on the sidewalk after Halloween and spat it out after grabbing it. Jujubes. Tiny, semi-hard, and stuck in all your teeth. Queen and chocolate covered cherries filled W snot in the shriveled hearts of politicians. Disgusting. Chocolates with fruit filling. It always ruins the chocolate for me. Thrills. Purple gum that tastes like. I'm dish soap. Right off. I had never heard of it, so I typed thrills gum in Google. One of the first suggestions is thrills gum why. Nestle Chunky, because Raisins, and Nestle too. Spice flavor jelly beans. My grandmother always put them in our Easter basket and they were disgusting. Samiaki. As if black licorice weren't bad enough by itself, the Nordic peoples, for some insane reason, decided to add salt to it. Not just ordinary salt, mind you or no, not our old friend sodium chloride er, but, rather, the much stranger, I didn't even know this wasn't poisonous, let alone food, asterisk ammoniuum asterisk chloride. Yeah, Samiaki is weird. First piece I ever ate er a little hard black diamond shaped candy er was absolutely revolting, but on principle I insisted on finishing it, which took a while as it dissolved in my mouth rather slowly. But, after a while, at long last, it was all over with. I sat there for a moment, considering the aftertaste that remained in my mouth. And I grabbed another. And then another. I was hooked. 
It is most definitely an acquired taste, but, in my case at least, one which I acquired quickly. Whoppers are just sawdust covered with chocolate flavored wax. Black licorice, root beer flavored hard candies, the candy hearts, that are given around Valentino Thursday, sugar daddies. You don't like root beer barrels? Candy corn. Circus peanuts and peeps. Necco wafers. How were these popular? I guess back then it was 100% socially acceptable to beat your kids, but child abuse via Necco wafer is too much. Dots. They are basically glue designed to pull your teeth out. Bro I. I love dots. So does my dentist. Those orange marshmallow peanuts. I think they are called circus peanuts, and they gross me out. Necco wafers. Chalky wedding mints. I had a bad experience with them when I was five. I ate way, way too many of them, and cake and punch at my mother's third wedding. I woke up in the middle of the night and vomited all over. Dang third wedding at five. Red Hearts. Twizzlers. All my friends loved them as a kid and I remember kids coveting the ones I'd bring in after Halloween. I just gave them away because they taste like chewy wax to me. That chili flavored ball. Hate that. Uh, so much I don't even care to remember the name Lomeo. Edit. Chili Rockus Tamarindo is that horrendous monstrosity. That purple. Gum. Turkish delights. But they are good enough to sell your whole family out for some. Did a secret Santa at work this year and we filled out a short survey to help. The girl I got listed the following under favorite candy. Tootsie Rolls. Raisinets. Whoppers. I cannot look at her the same since. I guess that person statistically has to exist. Valentine candy hearts. The texture and taste are unbearable for me. Black licorice tastes like something straight out of a witcher's cauldron. Twizzlers taste like 90s cough syrup and your taste is bad. Anything banana flavored. I've read that they're supposed to mimic the taste of a type of banana that is now extinct due to a blight that wiped them out. I say God wiped them out for a reason. On the contrary, I... I love banana runs candy. I like candy. But not good and plenty. You've been visited by the ghost of a very important man. Pay your respects by liking and subscribing, and he'll grant you three weeks of good luck.